All right guys, so today we are gonna go over the Leak Smart sensor. This is actually a real simple setup. Um, so I'm gonna start with unboxing it. Okay, so you got your actual sensor. Directions and batteries. Okay, so let's face it, I'm a man, I don't read instructions. So um, what you're gonna do first is actually flip it over, find a screwdriver, okay, just unscrew the back. Make sure you don't drop the screw like I just did, but anyway, undo the batteries. Hear it beep, and then do not put the back on yet because you're gonna need to pair it with this black button right here. So I'm gonna put it down. And then I'm actually going to pair it to Wink. Um, I think you can actually also get it with uh, its own hub, but uh, it works really well with Wink, so I'm going to uh, pair it with Wink. So what we do here is just scroll down to add a product. And it's actually under sensors. Leak Smart Sensor. Begin pairing. So in this case, I'm going to choose the upstairs hub because that's the hub I'm pairing it to. You can you can pair it to any hub that you have in your house. Um, so next, it says when instructed, you will press the pairing button located on the battery door to put the device into pairing mode. So just keep that in mind. All right, we're going to connect now, and you can see that the hub is blinking. So we're going to press down on this. Okay, says it'll beat five times when it's paired, so hopefully we'll see a green light on the Wink Hub, and then we know we're good to go. There we go, green light, should be good. Okay, sometimes you get this try again message on, on here, but you just gotta kinda wait it out. Sometimes Wink is just a little bit slow. So there we have it, success. So name sensor. I'm gonna put this one underneath the hot water heater, so I'm actually going to name it hot water heater so we know where it's at. So hot water heater, done. Success. Okay, get started. Just kind of gives you a simple overview on, on what it is. Talks about the robots. Gives you just an overview. So um, here you can kind of see some of the sensors that I have. So the leak smart is actually going to be down here where it says dry. Thank goodness. And then you've got the one hot water heater. So if you want, you can actually click on that and bring up everything about it. So it says obviously it's refreshed 58 seconds ago, battery level 100%, status dry. And um, just to kind of show you some of the old ones I've had, um, put one underneath the laundry sink. So this one's at 75% battery level. And I've had that under there for about a month now, so I guess not too bad. And then the main water line, 85% uh, have had this one for about maybe three weeks or so. 
anyway, um, that's it. I, I dropped the screw, so I won't be um, <laughs> bending over so you can you can watch that. So um, essentially all you do is just put the back cover on, put the screw in, and you're good to go. Just place it right under it, and you can see the two little uh, sensors right there that will detect water. So um, pretty straightforward. So thanks, guys.